If we run out again, we're cutting again. <laughs> we're cutting. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I got rhythm. I really got rhythm. Deep in the land. through this ego stage because I was a little cockney urchin you see and I and I, and I, I had no food and I had nothing and no mum, no, no mum. she was killed at uh, one particular stage and uh, I had to battle for everything I got and now I've become Count Capuna because I want people to notice me I've dress I dress up and uh, you know look at me here I am I'm, I'm doing my thing and uh, I think the only difference is that I'm a little more aware of it, of it. I don't think it I think everybody could have a ball dressing up it's funny, some people, some guys exp say that they don't have homosexual problems and they'll look at guys and say, oh, you know, this guy, uh, he's a pansy or a sissy. But you can get almost any guy in the right mood and he'll dress up as a woman. And this is rather incredible. And he'll clown about it and he'll say, oh, yeah, <laughs> isn't it fun? Well, all we've got to do is learn to admit these things. Learn to admit that we, we dig doing things that are crazy. <laughs>
can see seven everywhere, and maths and astrology and music are very closely aligned when you're thinking about cosmic things. And uh, you've got, you start with red, as you probably know, and you end up with violet. You've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, that some people call purple. Now, there's a very interesting thing about the color red, because red, on its very low plane, is considered to be associated with carnality and, and lust and, and the, the sinful aspect of man, you know, the, the desire part. But the red rose, apparently, is purified red. It symbolizes man understanding red, going through red, by having lived a full life and becoming spiritual. Why are you uh, wearing red? Well, also, I, I wear reds and yellows a lot, although I'm getting into black lately, you know. Only my public knew. Mm. Like that guy that came in last night, he was really shocked when he saw you without your makeup. <laughs> oh, well, mm. yes, I was propositioned last night by a gentleman that he tried to make out he was going to book me for a show and he, he actually wanted to burgle my briefs. Mm. is it at the moment now it's the fourth color in the spectrum and it's rather significant when you see it in cosmog cosmogony as they call it or evolution uh, because at the moment man is trying to get from green to blue which is the blue is the color of spirituality or, or the essence of religion and we have an incredible conflict at the moment because it because it's right in the middle of man's evolution in this particular life chain we're going to have to allow our astral bodies to blend to communicate which transcends color, creed, religion, black, white, everything. I want you to look at me. I want to look at you. I want to communicate with you. I want to have sex with you. I don't care if you're male or female. I don't mean physical sex necessarily, but I want, to, I want my astral body to blend with yours. I want to communicate with you. I want to get inside you. I want you to get inside me. Uh, the makeup symbolizes, you know, if, you, if you're on a trip, whether it be a natural trip or a, a, a stimulated trip, you might see things like this. You might see a person differently. You might see, read a lot more into their face than just a cold marble face. You'd see color, you'd see flashes of lightning, you'd see jewels, you'd see, you know? And if, a per you'd, if you really smell a person's body, instead of smelling sweat, you'd smell perfume, you'd smell, uh, the, you'd smell the beauty of it. And we've got to learn to meet now as people, as human beings, not just the guy meets the girl and and she's, she's got to sort of say, what does he want out of me? And the guy's going to say, what can I get out of her? And, uh, you know, I'm not denying the sexual part. I think people will, would enjoy sex more if they, if they communicated as people first. Every little girl and boy in this big land has a chance to be free from now on and to live a life that's full of helping hands. Now the days of the darkness are gone for the light, for the light of the sun, of the sun shining brighter than ever before. And the might, and the might of everyone, of everyone smiling happily fills us with hope. Here we go. So clap your hands. 
and do a lot of impersonations and stuff like that. Who you do? Know. Oh, I had a go at all of them, you know. Cagney, you know. You dirty rat, I want to tell you. Don't get smart with me. And all that stuff. And, and, and um, Edward G. Robertson. Okay, I want to tell you, smart guy. Hot little Caesar, see? Yes. And um, Jerry Lewis, you know. Okay, okay, we're done, you know. Dean Martin, everybody likes a drop of whiskey. Sinatra. I used to do a bit of a send-up thing, you know, everybody's doing my way, you know, and they're not doing it their way, you know. So I decided I'd be the first one I'd, uh, in the clubs to send up Sinatra, you know. So I sort of did a thing, uh, and now the end is near, and as I face the final curtain, I've suddenly turned queer and fell in love with Richard Burton. Did Liz, Liz, I want you to know, Liz, I love you. Oh, you're beautiful. Yes, uh, Elizabeth. And something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cut to the Irish, yeah. Uh, but he's very similar, you know, he did Churchill's voice, but uh, there's a slight similarity there. Churchill says things like, you know, Never in the field of human endeavor yeah, have I struggled so hard. He had an incredible sense of humor, that guy. I dug him. He was, he was very cosmic, that guy. This big world is meant to be a happy place With no tears that are not meant for joy And a smile so beautiful on every face Like a child with a bright colored toy For the light, For the light of the sun Shining brighter than ever before And the bite of everyone Of everyone Smiling happily, happily Fills us with awe Here we go So clap your hands Come on Clap your hands and be gay Like me It's good for your soul Be light and shine for fun For crime of life has begun Full of peace and guns and love and bombs. Smart ass. Exterminate him. We have no room for thinkers. There was this incredible story about the, the Zen monk, um, two Zen monks walking along, and one of them uh, sees a, a lady that uh, wants to get to her home, which is across the river, and she can't because the river is very torrential. I think that's the word. So the monk grabs hold of her and he takes her across the water and the other one is disgusted because he said, oh, you made vows, you're not allowed to touch a woman and you've carried this woman across the river. And uh, they're walking along and this guy's complaining for about three hours. He says, you should never have carried that woman across the river. So the Zen monk turns around to his friend and he says, look, man, I stopped carrying her three hours ago. You're still carrying her. Which is, um, it's quite hilarious, really. And as promised, here is Count Copernicus. Welcome to the show. Thanks, good. Nice you can make it. Great. Most people have seen your act down at the cloud. How long have you had that act going? Oh, this particular act about... Um, oh, it's evolved over about the last six months, this particular approach. Yeah, are you cashing in on the glitter approach, uh, a la Bowie and people like that? Yeah. Oh, I suppose you could say cashing in, but everybody's cashing in. I mean, Bowie cashed in on somebody else. and I mean, they all got their ideas from, from what's happening now. Uh, so I suppose I am really, but um, I'm totally different from any of them in as much as I write different songs, I wear different gear, I say different things, I've had a different background. You're right. Uh, who does all your arrangements? Body painting arrangements. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a girl named Julia who designs all my gear. She's in the woman's lib and so am I and male lib and we talk about liberation and we talk about what we're trying to do and and astral things and cosmic things and spiritual things and commercial 
They rip off things. We get it together and we try and symbolize it in the act on stage. 6 p.m. It's 2.39, Gordon O'Byrne and Count Copernicus. How much? About it next week. Feel like a drink? Yeah, you, yeah, I really you don't know. look like a drinking man. No, I don't drink a lot. But Listen, no. why would you get us a glass of port? You paralysed or something. I could just see you say, Listen, I knew you'd say Listen, that. Listen, if you offer someone a glass of port, go and get it for them. Oh. You want to be nice and pleasant, you do it. Are you hitting me with the lib bit, I... Well, that's what you're on about. Be liberated for a change. You might get angry with you me or something. Castrate, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you crap on... You're becoming a fanatic, love. I mean, I dig the liberation thing. I mean, my act is all about that, my songs. Your act? I dig it. God, I mean, look, the biggest chauvinist thing in the world is a pop star. I oh, love there. Come on. Using his charisma to get all the little girls in. I mean, that's all you're doing. You're not on about liberation at all. You don't live liberated. You, you don't act liberated. You don't think I, I dig the liberation thing? You don't think no, I, I believe think it? You, I think you... What's Dick your idea? No, I don't think you understand right? it. Tell me what your it's idea of liberty between men and women. Equality. equality. Are you equal to me? Of course I'm equal Physically to you. Physically and mentally. And spiritually. And spiritually. The whole Physically? three. Yeah. What about That's if I right. give you a smack in the mouth? <laughs> hey? You want yeah? to try it? So, um, you know, I'm going. He's winding me up, isn't We've got to get out of here. <laughs> I'm way over time. I must play some music, or people won't listen. Count yeah. Copernicus. It's been nice having you on the show. Thanks, good. And if you haven't seen him, get on down to the cloud in the city for Count Copernicus. <laughs> Good grief, he said it wrong again. Copernicus. 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 interested in mm. in this idea yes. uh, of numerology and wondered if you could sort of tell me a little more about see uh, I see number seven to me is a very important number yes well the seven and is known as the battler yeah. well of course Christ was the battler too he had many trials and tribulations to contend with well, I've got a flat nose you know, and you've chosen <laughs> his numbers by taking count uh, Copernicus's name Nicholas Copernicus and you've added a count to it yeah. And therefore, you will have trials and tribulations, but it'll be a name that will be lasting. It will be. It will find fame. Money. Well, money is merely a part of technology. I believe money is just as much a part of God. It's a part of life a as going and living and being a hermit with no money. But um, the poor millionaires deserve a fair go too. Why shouldn't they be happy too? You know, if they want to be millionaires and that's their trip, let them. I say. You know. Let be one. Uh, I wouldn't mind, but I, it doesn't matter either way. If I wa I don't think I could be one, because I think I'd spend my money too quickly, I'd give it away, and um, unless somebody else was handling my money, um, I don't think I could be, because I personally don't think that way. <laughs>
science and theology or, or religion as you might say are meeting the east and the west are meeting man woman are meeting black white there was a whole new thing happening in the universe that i call a cosmic kiss Thank you. 